quite a bit of lag. The reason we're doing the Rex is there's quite a bit of lag with the quite a bit of lag with the live game. So we figured we'd do the Rex so we wouldn't experience the lag. So let's get going. All right, guys, what's going on? It's T90 official, and we have the first in the best of five uh, between Tyrant and Old Men. Uh, so it should be exciting games. Uh, I'm going to get right into introducing the players here and their locations. I'm going to toggle on team colors just for a moment while I... Uh, so I can see the locations, and uh, I will toggle them off now. So we have Riot here, and Riot is on the left-hand side playing as the Mongols. Then Riot's pocket is the Viper playing as the Hunts. The other pocket uh, looks like way over here is Doubt playing as Mayans. The see on the very right then, Slam playing as the Chinese is the other flank. Um... Um, well, this might have been it. I was given a couple game files, and they said they were going to save, and I know there's a couple game files. Let's try and do this one. There you go. So, they had to save, and let's slow it down. My apologies. But, um... Should be all good now. So I was introduced to the players, got kind of thrown off course there. And we have Slam on the right hand side playing as the Chinese. So, like I said, this is kind of what we would have experienced in a live game. And so that's why we're doing the Rex and we don't have to experience any latency issues. So, Slam being on the flank, let's see who's across from him. Uh, we have here uh, in the green. Uh, Kwai. Now I know some of these players have some alternative alternate accounts. I'm not actually aware of all of them, so you guys might be able to um, let me know. But here we have his player playing as the Mayans. Uh, the other pocket playing as the Mongols is Feng Zing. Uh, their pocket Moonlight playing as the Huns. And last but not least, we have Feng Zhao playing as the Chinese. So see how this plays out take a quick look at the flanks so we have chinese or both flanks we have slam on the opposing flank and then this flank also chinese uh so chinese versus mongols on this side and riot here is mongols that should be an interesting matchup well on this side we have mayans versus chinese and um i will speed it up just a tiny bit here as these guys go up to the feudal age uh, as pockets, obviously Viper being pocket, that's great. He's playing as the Huns. Uh, the other pocket then would be Doubt. I think that's probably their two strongest pockets, arguably. Uh, I think Doubt maybe could be better on his flank because Doubt is a um, maybe a bit more aggressive, better as an aggressor in the feudal age than Riot. But uh, either way, uh, they're going to be well off. Well, these players they have a uh, Huns pocket. And then we they have a Mongols pocket, uh, certainly going to be good. Obviously, as mirrored sibs, it looks like. And it looks like my dashboard's actually disappeared. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll get that back on. So I'm not sure why the dashboard disappeared when the uh, restore happened, but it's back. All right, so quick look at the flanks maps as well. We have on the right the gold for Feng Zhao, and it's not actually the worst gold. This map's actually not the worst either. Uh, if you look at the wood lines, pretty nice wood line on the left and on the right. Uh, for Riot, uh, Riot has the back wood line there, wood line on the right, and back gold. Not to mention there's some stone there. Uh, probably not going to see much use of that early game, but some other gold to retreat to. Not the worst. It is quite open on the front. I don't think as Mongols it's going to be too much of an issue as it will be a strong early game. So for the other flanks, we already saw Slam uh, playing as the Chinese. Uh, forward gold, but does have a nice back wood line. Uh, it's pretty much the only wood line that's in close proximity. It could go over to this wood line, but is somewhat forward. I do like the walling capability of this map, and it looks like off the drush, Slam is potentially going to be doing that. And that uh, could be what we're going to see here. And a little bit of walling here and here, and a little bit of walling there as well. Uh, of course, building your blacksmith, archery range, whatever else. Here as well uh, could be 
okay for Slam. Now for the other player here, uh, it's it's Q I U, and that's I don't know how to say that. I don't know if it's like a player I should know or not. Uh, like I said, lots of different accounts used, but Kwai I'll say, uh, but but Kwai here is playing as the Mayans and probably going to see a Drush as well. Uh, easy wall, I mean, could wall here and pretty much wall this up. It's going to be a waste of resources to wall this much, but certainly could. And this side looks like a lot of walling from both these players. Well, not so much on this side. They're saying that actually, Feng Zhao seems to be walling quite a bit. China are known for a little bit more walling, and uh, a lot of the players in Tyrant, they just they just uh, don't do it. They're just, just so focused on their eco and their, their military aggression, they just think it's a waste of time, or that that's my logic behind it anyway with some of these players. It looks like Dallas brought over his eagle to help out in this rush, which is nice. He actually got an, a hit in there with his eagle. Now with Mongol's pocket... Uh, where's the Mongol's Pocket? This is the Mongol's Pocket, I believe, right? Uh, with Mongol's Pocket, you could potentially see uh, them go up and go scout. So I'm interested to see if any of these players will do that. Uh, well, I guess that player, Feng Zing, will choose to do that. Uh, if you were to go into scout production as a pocket, it could really catch your opponent out. But also, it could be a huge risk as well. Uh, right now, Viper's on his way to the Feudal Age. And is my dashboard working? Uh, no, it's not. Why are you not working dashboard? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, normally you'd see researches on the top right hand side. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that. If there's something I need to press or what. I believe I'm doing everything right. That's a pain. That's going to be a big pain in the butt, but I've done it before. Um... Yeah, um, lots of team walls coming up, but yeah, if anyone is sure on how I could fix that issue, I'm, I'm really not. But um, we'll pay attention to the aggression on both sides. It looks like scouts have now come out. I will slow it down. Uh, I was I was actually unaware that they have. That's how reliant we are on the dashboard. That I was unaware uh, that these guys had already gone up. I was that much waiting for the dashboard that much. Uh, the pockets are already up on 27 pop pretty much. And the scouts are coming out. Uh, Riet, he has quite a few of them, obviously, as Mongols already. And it looks like huge, huge walls here from Feng Zhao. That's, that's insane. Uh, obviously trying to probably get up to the next stage off of that. Uh, now, with that, the scouts from Riet could easily come and do damage to his pocket. So he needs to be careful. Looks like he is already walled. Uh, the Drush has got in from Kwai. Don't think it'll really do all that much. It looks like Slam's actually going to help out with the villager, and they will most likely kill that final militia. Lots of walling from everybody. In fact, the team wall is coming up from Viper, uh, who's going. I heard stable. He's going with a stable, and uh, just be careful not to lose the villager there. But um, he will be going knights. But look at the walls everywhere, guys. This is completely and this probably ill-advised as well. Uh, Could have definitely. Just walled there, but probably just lack of scouting there for Kwai, uh, unaware. But it looks like all of the uh, feudal aggression is fizzled out for now. And Riet probably going to send his scouts down this direction. Where is he going to be able to attack them? I'm not sure. He has his scouts here, and it doesn't really look like he's able to do much damage. Um, those walls are, are great, but not going to be able to keep them up forever. Riet's presence right now is allowing him to get some uh, ooh, doubt. Doubt likes to do this with Viper. This is interesting. Um, he's stone walling now and he's slinging Viper. And I'm glad, you know, without the dashboard working, I'm glad I caught that actually. I'm sure it would have figured out in due time. However, uh, he's slinging. He's slinging for sure. He's, he's still in the feudal ages, Mayans. He's stone walling. And he's slinging Viper, who has how many stables right now? Two stables going to three stables, and he already has the blacksmith. So they have the team wall, which I guess is nice. And they're going to try and really do some damage onto the opponents with the sling. So, does he have the stables? No, the stables not quite uh, set to be garrisoned anywhere just yet. So we don't really know where he's planning to go. Uh, but 
he will certainly be dishing out the damage at some point. Ooh, Riet. Riet, cheeky cheeky, taking out the straggler trees there of Moonlight. So back on this side, I mean, kind of expected stuff. Slam, he's going crossbows. And on this side, of course, as Mayans is Kly, and Kly's on stone, most likely going to go plumes. This is the thing with this sling, and I'll probably go off of the point of view of Doubt now. But if you're slinging as Mayans, it's great. You have, I mean, you have good eco to do that. But if the if it doesn't pay off early, you're going to see the opponent Mayans player pose a huge threat with their plumed archers, and it's going to be it's going to be huge. I mean, it's going to be absolutely huge if your sling uh, slinging ally doesn't do anything with it. I want to see, is my dashboard working with the resources? My dashboard isn't actually working at all, guys, so I am all out on my lonesome. This is this is not good, but okay, lots of one coming from Fang Zhao, and um, he is just quite late, actually, to getting up to the next stage. So what I'm going to have to do, and I'm alerting you guys now, is that without the dashboard working, and it might have to do with the amount of restarts these guys have performed, and also might have something to do with the fact that um, these guys, um, the wrecks and, and all of these things that, that come into play, I may have to toggle to like the blacksmiths and the players, and it might be a little bit more jerky, but I'm going to do it because I think it's important. So right now, uh, Viper's sending in his knights here. And he's obviously Castle Age already. Is he getting plus two? He doesn't quite have the resources, but I wouldn't be surprised. I think it's most important to see where Viper sends his knights right now. Uh, he actually has his scout in there. He hasn't quite picked off a bill, but Riot was in there as well to try and help out. Uh, I don't think his knights are going to quite do anything just yet. Uh, looks like he's creating only out of two stables now some knights, but he has an awful lot of them. A uh, Viper now at 10 military. That's the only thing that really works is the military and villager count. Now back on this side, the crossbows are here. And I don't think they're going to really get in. I mean, Kwai is going up second to TC and going with the castle. The plumes will stream out across the map. Uh, Slam is going to be up against it as far as the military is concerned. Well, look at that. Viper actually losing a knight to the monk from Moonlight. And Moonlight doing a fantastic job, I think, in... Um, making the choice to get out the monastery right away. I think they could probably guess that Doubt is slinging. It's almost 20 minutes and Doubt is, uh, even if they haven't scouted, Doubt is a great player. He'd definitely be Castle Age by now. So they should know what's going on. Now for Riot, he has ranges ready to fire. Is he... Well, how close is he to getting up? He's actually getting up just now, and he'll probably get Bosaw here, and there's Bosaw, and he's going to be going for the offensive with the crossbows. Not seeing an awful lot right now from Feng Zhao, though. I mean, as far as offensive goes, uh, luckily his woodlines are quite safe from crossbows, but the problem is if he doesn't get some offensive presence, it's... It's kind of a problem, really. You know, Viper, he's already receiving sling. He now, well, he has bloodlines. He has plus one defense, plus two will be on the way. He has 15 knights out, which is so much more than anybody else. And um, looks like only one knight from Feng Zhao. And, you know, it could easily be a 2v1 situation at this rate on the Moonlight. And Moonlight only has, uh, well, a knight or two and a couple monks. And obviously crossbows are pretty good against the monks. So, crossbow's still here from Slam. Now, he can actually penetrate these wood lines pretty easily. He can fire over top the wood lines. He does need to be careful. The plumes look to be here from Kwai. And for himself, his wood lines seem to be quite safe from plumes. His gold even as well right now. Uh, but he is going to push in. And he picked off a villager right there on that stone. I think he will even push the woodline back a little bit. Uh, even that lumber camp, look at that, picking off a villager there as well. Slam doing a nice job. The plume's actually not doing much right now at this point in the game. And look at Viper with so many knights. And like I said, I don't know what Fang Zhao has really done this game, unfortunately. I think holding out for a castle, but as Chinese uh, in the castle age, the Chukunus really are not very good. Uh, and there's no doubt that and no pun intended, because there's a player named Doubt. 
uh, playing in this game. But there's no doubt that Viper and uh, Rhea are going to get through these walls. Just a matter of how much damage they're really going to do. Uh, I guess there's two monks here and a Maganel here in defense, but that's about it. I'm still trying to see if there's really much going on on this side. Doesn't really look like it. Uh, Moonlight and Fingsing actually getting in the top side, and Viper is here. Viper's receiving this link, but he still has more vills than anybody. He's 54 vills, so he's he's not really uh, neglecting his eco. But in comes the battle here. Looks like Viper did lose a knight, and they, he is going to go back. I mean, he actually can't get through the stone walls, but he is delaying this gold now. And um, I, this high aggression really has even paid off. They didn't lose any units, and they're just a lot of stone has been wasted from uh, Feng Zhao and. Viper looks like he has to defend here. Ooh, it looks like he lost a couple knights. One villager possibly. R.I.P. to that wolf there as well. But you know what? Viper is just going to relocate his villagers, I think. He could easily go to this wood line. So, the engagement now is coming in on Moonlight. And I said that was expected if Fang Zhao was not able to really do anything. And we see a villager go down. We saw the monk go down. Viper has a lot of knights here. And I'm not really sure what Moonlight can do. If this pressure continues, uh, oh, excuse me, that was the wrong hotkey. Um, he has one knight, he has a Maganel, and does he even have? He actually has very little gold. Uh, he's he's sending villagers over to gold, but he doesn't have much at all. And um, Viper has a lot. There's a lot here from Rhea as well. Uh, it's not looking good. Viper's actually coming back in defense, and he should be able to clean that up. Um, you know, Feng Zing is is going to try and. I guess attack Viper now because he can't get doubt. Uh, it looks as though Slam seems to be completely fine. Where is Kwai at this point? Kwai's plumes still not really present on the map. In fact, Slam could get in this. This is open right now. Slam could get in and do a lot of damage. He could even take these plumes. Uh, though he is fighting uphill, he's going to have to really single them out. But he could definitely do it. Uh, looks like the engagement back here still has not taken place. But is he going to do it? He still would have... Uh, well, he's he's definitely still at the bottom of that hill. But looks like he definitely will take this. Uh, Feng Zing is going to come over and help out. But he could go in and cause some problems. I actually, in hindsight, don't think he's going to be able to do all that much on any of these like wood lines or stones or anything. But uh, he's still in nonetheless. Viper's clicked up to Imperial... Advanced to Imperial Age, excuse me. And that's pretty quick time, obviously you're receiving sling. Um, uh, it's going to be hard now, it's going to be really hard. Viper's at 70 vills of his own. Uh, Doubt has 57, and he's pretty much full sling on Viper. Oh no, he's going to try and wall here his moonlight, and he's going to lose almost all these vills if he doesn't run away. He's not running. He needs, to, he needs to go back, and he's not going back. He's lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's like a trail of dead bodies there. Um, a Viper, not sure if he's going to engage Riot. Lucky not to lose some units there. Looks like this still hasn't been cleaned up, but Viper picking off the Maganel, and Viper's going to have Cavalier and plus three. Already has plus two as well. I assume he got plus two on the way up to Imp, and... He, he's going to have enough units to just tank TCs. I think it's funny how they're trying to... The Chinese guys are just desperately trying to wall. They're just trying to wall, but they're already in the walls. You can't wall someone out if they're already in. And Viper now with plus three defense and plus two attack will just take out these TCs. There's five villagers in there. Uh, Slam looks like he's been cleaned up. Actually, some plumes in Slam space, but I think he'll be able to, to be fine. At this point, Slam just needs to hold that side. Uh, Moonlight is actually top scorer on his team. He's the strongest player on his team. He has a lot of knights there, but no real upgrades. He has crossbows here. He also has cavalier coming in. I wouldn't be surprised with the sling if Viper has Paladin anytime soon. Lots of units he's not even using right now. And Viper could continue to take TCs down. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And I'm going to continue with the doubt jokes all day long. But the villagers, villagers are just going down too quick. Too quick. Uh, Cavalier is not coming in. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why are there Cavalier there? Okay, they're converted. Uh, Moonlight. Uh, 
has converted the two Cavalier from Viper, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, the crossbows from Riot are going to be able to single out Moonlight Knights pretty easily, especially with the help from Viper's Cavalier. Will Viper's Cavalier be able to get in? I actually think they've completed the wall, because he can go through the Palisades there, but uh, yeah, still. Rhea staying underneath the TC, killing so many villagers right now. Uh, he still has a large presence there. And it does kind of it is kind of unfortunate that the dashboard doesn't seem to be working correctly at the moment, but uh, I I'm doing my best I can. So I spoke earlier about how the Mines player could get a significant advantage. Uh, and he hasn't done anything. Like, seriously, still, what, three TCs, but, like, no military presence on the map? Where are the plumes at? Well, that's green, but it's not military. It's just a bunch of berries. I have no clue, really. Uh, Riot still um, here with his crossbows. Viper now is going to be forced to go elsewhere. And I, like I said, am expecting Paladin to come in anytime. Let's see, we have... I have to toggle through to do it manually. Yep, there's Paladin right there. And he will have Paladin shortly. And pretty much fully upgraded as well. Uh, no Blast Furnace yet coming in. Oh, with no one up to Imperial on the opposing team, I don't see how they're really going to stop Viper right now. I wouldn't be surprised either if we have Doubt uh, with the advantage Viper has. Um, going up to Castle Age. And man, without the Spectator dashboard, I am just on the ball. I'm only 50% behind uh, what's actually happening. Uh, which I guess isn't too bad. So Doubt, recognizing that Viper's doing pretty well on his own now, is going to go up to Castle Age and try and reboom back into this game. Um, I'm, that was a proud moment for myself. <laughs> I have to say, I'm sorry, but it was. And everyone else is making their way to Imp. So, we have Riot, most likely on his way to Imp, getting a castle. Obviously, Mangadai going to be the staple of the uh, Imperial... Mangadai army. Uh, Viper, oh he got in here. I figured he would not get through those walls, but he's gotten in. And we talked about how Kwai has been very, very weak all game. Well, he's going to be so much weaker now. Uh, he's going to be really be struggling. Uh, now, well, probably below 70 villagers. And Viper's just going to, he has so many resources and he obviously fully upgraded. He's going to be able to be able to send these powder in in such high amounts. This is just so, so bad right now for Kwai. I mean, he needs the upgrades. He has Elite Plume, but he doesn't have many of them. It, it's just not good. They, they were almost half okay if they would have just hid behind their walls because they initially had, had dealt with the threat. But um, it looks like Rhea still has his crossbows there as well. Uh, they... They're going to go down eventually, but is Rhea going to just pick off some Vils on the way to his death? Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, he's not going to be able to do that. Oh, there's one. What do you know? But yeah, this is not good. This is not good now for Kwai. Viper is in a decent position here on this side of the map. Uh, left side, then. It looks as though uh, we are going to see Riot. Okay, Doubt is actually going to sling from the Castle Age. Okay. So he's just going to get Wheelbarrow, I guess, and get we'll get some uh, upgrades in the Castle Age and, and Sling even stronger. I thought that Doubt would possibly try to just... Maybe he wants more Villagers. He's only on 65 Villagers. Um, I guess you get to Castle Age, you can get out an extra TC or two. But uh, he's now Slinging Riot, so Viper doesn't need the Sling anymore, and Riot's going to receive the resources, so... Uh, Riot... He is Mangadai, and whatever he just received was a bunch of food and a bunch of gold. That's going to be huge. That's going to help out with getting the Elite Mangadai. And Onager as well, actually. Really nice. I mean, he's going to be up against Elite Chukunus, which aren't half bad against Elite Mangadai. So, I like that choice. But Viper, uh, I did see him go back for a minute, but it looks like he's just pushed right back in. Slam also pushing in on this side, and it's pretty much a 2v1 now. I'm not really sure where Feng Zing is or what his choice is. He's Mongols, but he's not going to be here in time. This castle's going to go down because there's two traps here from Slam. And this looks to be it, honestly. This looks to be the game. The Viper can take this castle out. Whatever is in it will die as well. And there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. I, in the blink of an eye, there's nothing here. Um, 
Oh, there's villagers running from Kwai. Uh, and he's going to run right into Viper's castle or pallet. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, really, they're just going to die. Um, or or slam. I mean, it doesn't matter. That's, that's really not going to work out. So, this side, we talked about the Elite Mangadai. Elite Mangadai aren't going to come out. Riot has... Uh, three castles now, which is a decent amount. Is he going to go Siege Onager, though? I didn't actually see many Onagers from him. He just has one Siege Workshop. I'm going to go Castle there. He definitely wants to go on the offensive. Siege Onager is pricey, but he's just getting it now. Wow, that is huge. Also, these guys, I think, starting trade in the back. And with all the offensive pressure from the Tyrants, uh, it's not going to be really doable for old boys. So you can see Slam's pushing in with Viper. And they're just going to go straight through to Feng Zing. And Feng Zing is going to <laughs> be 2v1s now. Did these Vils actually make it? Well, there was six of them a moment ago. Um, there's now two. This one, well, it's not going to fall victim to the wolf. But I'm pretty sure it will die. I'm pretty sure they will die. Uh, total population right now for Kwai is 26. He has 26 villagers. I'm not actually sure where all the... Ah, he made some back here. Okay, that's good. That's good for his sake. So, But this is where all the action's going. I mean, fully upgraded Elite Mangadai. Actually missing Bloodlines is real. He could get Bloodlines. He hasn't gotten it. But so many units here. He has Siege Onager coming in. He doesn't actually have an Onager. There we go. It's coming out now. Uh, I assume Siege Ram as well from Viper on the way. Um, well, not quite. He actually could be getting it in a moment. And this is going to be a huge, huge deal uh, on this side as well. Viper, of course, doing damage to pretty much every player this game. Uh, this is what you need to do when you receive the sling. And... Uh, Building now the Bombard Towers is Fang Zhao. Just pretty much purely defensive game. Um, looks like Viper now getting the Siege Ram right there. So this is, I mean, all that gold is very nice that uh, Slam has collected that. All these extra resources is very nice for Slam. He's he's taking up that area. The fight's going to happen. I want to see some big Siege Onager shots. Now, the Bombard Towers, a big deal. Um really big deal. They do have 8 plus 3 range. The Siege Onagers only have 8 range. But I would expect to see some trebs come out shortly from these guys on this side. Now, looks like they're probably trying to clean up their trade line here. That's exactly what they're signaling. That's what we're seeing. And, yep, look at that. We're just following it. They're just following it. It's like we're in real time. Um, and, yep, there's the Trebs. I mean, the Trebs obviously have much more range, 16. And um, so they're going to be able to take out these castles and the Bombard Towers. And, you know, Moonlight, I think, is just going to try and make a big push here with Fang Zhao and try and pull this back. I don't know how that's really possible, though. I don't know how that's really possible at all. Um, <sighs> Slam's doing a good job of pushing on this side. He is mainly skirmishers right now. He doesn't have many elite Chuko news. I guess he's going to have to send them a long way because he's really pushed a long way. Um, if he micros this correctly, he might be okay for a moment, but he, it's really a shame he hasn't gotten that castle up. But back on this side is where a majority of the action is happening. And elite Mangadai, so strong. Can't really get in close because of the bombard towers, though. Viper is pushing in with the siege rams. I'm waiting for Viper to make an engagement with these paladins, and there you go. There you go. He could just walk right in here. Or even in here. This is actually open. He could just wreck anything he wants to wreck right now. Uh, heavy camels are actually there from Feng Zhao. And... It'd be a good in defense. It looks like they've completely abandoned this side. Uh, just relying on the Bombard Towers in defense. And Viper is going to actually engage. I actually don't know if that's the best of engagements from him. But he is going to do it. Uh, props to old men right now for actually sticking in this one this far. I'm, I'm really surprised they were able to do that uh, and hang in. But as you can see, the Siege Onager is going to be able to be whittled away by the Bombard Towers. I would like to see a Siege Onager come back here and have the units come in and raid behind, but I think it's probably wiser to focus everything on the front. That's more of a late game tactic. Slam has been pushed back here, and this is where, you know, being... 3v4 is a problem. Uh, Doubt, well, is he purely villagers at this point? 
103 bills. Um, I guess he is that counts some trade as well in that figure. And you know that's that's an issue uh, if if old men are tr are able to hold it and doubt is not able to help in the fight then the longer it goes the harder it's going to be for tyrant to really win this game so these bombard towers are still here there's not many of them left but they are still here and they just need to hold like i said get stronger and stronger and stronger the, again Kwai is is still quite weak himself i mean uh if anything Doubt is, if saying it's 3v4 because Doubt is slinging, it's also 3v4 because Kwai is pretty much dead. But, um, it's hard to say right now. It's hard to say if uh, Old Men's going to be able to pull this back. I just, I just, I'm surprised they've held in this long. 45 minutes after such a substantial disadvantage. We'll have to see. Ooh, Viper sending over some of his paladins. Try and pick off this Onager or some some of the siege, I assume. I don't know how it's going to work out. Now, what does Reed have in that siege workshop? That would be really, really nice if he was able to actually uh, snipe some of the... Yep, he has a siege on her there. And if he was able to get a good shot, of course, Mang and I can really take out siege pretty quickly. But if he can get a good shot uh, on the... Either, even the siege on her there, Feng Zing would be huge. But looks like he certainly... Look at the resources of Reed as well. I'm now at his point of view. But the push has come in on this side. The castle's down. Rhea can just stroll on in. Rhea actually still does not have bloodlines at this point, which is probably a mistake. I mean, it's fairly inexpensive, and considering the resources he has, that's, that's kind of silly for him not to have that. Uh, but he is pushing in on this side nonetheless. Uh, and Viper, he's pushing in with them. There's a lot of trebs. I still, you know, the push is coming in. They have held for quite a while. Things out is having some problems. The trade was established here as well for old men. And that's going to meet. E even if they are able to hold a little bit longer, they have to move the markets closer, less gold for them. It's just a losing battle. And uh, this castle here... You know what, that, that potentially could be stopped by Viper if he focuses his paladins onto the villagers here. There's only one villager now that's actually building. Um, yeah, that villager's actually going to die. That castle's denied at, what, percentage, quite high percentage there. And Slam's actually pushing back on this side as well. Uh, it's not really looking good for old men. In fact, it hasn't been looking good for quite some time. I'm, I'm not really sure why they're still trying to pull this one back or what they're trying to do but I'm gonna see what doubt is doing uh, he's still gonna sling okay so he's pretty much committed to it at this point he has a lot of trade going you can pretty much tell which one of the mines carts because they have their they're the only ones running with their little legs so getting that much closer on this side as well to the trade of old men and Tyrants seem to have firm control, really. Now, Kawhi is back to 52 vils. He's he's trying to reboom, and he is Mayan. So, again, I mean, if he's able to hold, that's that's important. But, really, I, I just... It, he's lost so much. He's lost his entire base. He's just lost way too much. So, Riet... He has that castle there, good positioning. They're actually going to push in now and try and kill some trade, which is an interesting decision. Uh, they're amongst some bombard towers, they don't have much rams, and I think that's actually the only thing missing right now, is a bunch of siege rams. Uh, but, obviously the elite shooter news from Feng Zhao is going to come in, it looks like he's sending some light cap as well, which isn't too shabby as Chinese. But, you know, looks like Riot's now going to go back, he's just going to hit and run on the trade. Viper was in there as well, but look at the amount of trebuchets. That is a lot of trebuchets there. No real help anymore from Moonlight. I'm not sure where Moonlight is. In fact, Moonlight has 23 military. <laughs> uh, he's Huns. Like, where is the Hun? I mean, okay, Paladin, but where are they? Uh, you have a couple of them. There's not much. And meanwhile, Reed himself has 55 military. Viper has 67 military. Just so much stronger on that side. And here, Viper also has some military helping out, obviously. Slam, 
He is at 50 military. This is, I mean, not only the sling helping this, but just the position they have in the game, their eco's being untouched, their trade lines being, uh, you know, just more, uh, just having more trade in general. It's just, being, just been huge, and I don't see them pulling this back. I really don't see old men pulling this back. The Trebs, they need to be protected. They could go down in an instant if they lose control, but I don't see them losing control, really. Riot sending some Vils forward, possibly for another castle, that's my guess. He has a lot of siege onagers here. And he's probably gonna lose a couple there as well to the uh, Lombard Tower, but with that many villagers and the amount of resources he's had for quite a while, he's probably gonna put up a castle. And yep, the castle's gone up. And look how close these guys are to the trade. Quite close, and this seems to be the, the beginning of the end. Well, we've been watching the beginning of the end, and oh, this could end with a huge Siege Goniger shot. Or a couple of them, anyway. Things out just has to run. Like, there's nothing he can really do there. He can't even fight. He'll just die. Um, and yeah, he died in anyway. Nice attack round. Slam's pushing in here as well. There's the GG. You know, I'm not really sure what they were waiting for. I'm not sure why they waited so long for the GG. It seems to be definitive from our point of view. It seemed to be quite obvious that there was absolutely no way they were going to pull it back. Uh, but, you know, um, that's the first game. And just look, so, they had so much trade. I did not think that if a game got to 55 minutes that... Um, you know, the Mayan sling would work out. I thought, like, the Mayan player would would really kind of fizzle out as a slinger, and that the other Mayan player who wasn't slinging would be fine, get his elite plumed archers out, and, and really uh, turn the tide of the game, but the other Mayan player died, so uh, let's take a quick look at the military stats. Viper killing a lot of units, 288 units. Uh, too much to, I mean, Viper... A lot of gold as well, a lot of trade profit. Uh, the... That with 176 villager high. So in the end, obviously, he's full eco. 